23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Jessica Harrington. Here's what's making headlines around Kern County. Officials are investigating a shooting tonight that happened in East Bakersfield. According to KCSO, a call regarding the shooting near Flower and Miller Streets came in around 6 p.m. One victim was located at the scene with multiple gunshot wounds and was taken to the hospital. The victim is listed in critical condition. The suspect is an adult man. At last check, Flower Street near the intersection is closed due to the active investigation. If you have any information, you're asked to call KCSO at 861-3110. The Associated Press announced Republican David Valadeo beat out incumbent TJ Cox for his seat in California's 21st district. Today we sat down with Valadeo to get his reaction to the win. Well, obviously very excited. Uh, obviously, and knowing and understanding the, pro, uh, the issues that we're facing today, I, I understand it's a, it's a heavy load, but I'm excited about the opportunity to serve the 21st Congressional District. It's my home. It's a community that I love, and, and I'm uh, really excited about moving forward over these next two years. He also addressed the closeness of the race between he and TJ Cox and the vote counting. Valadeo added he thinks people in the 21st district understand he truly cares and wants to make a difference. He also added that he wants to focus on working with people on both sides of the aisle. Two main issues Valadeo is looking forward to working on, bringing water to the Central Valley and immigration reform. Here in Kern County, elections officials say all the votes in the county are finally counted. This comes as several races were decided with thin margins between the candidates. In 2016, Kern County certified all of its election results on December 2nd. Temperatures a little bit warmer for our Wednesday, not by much, not a huge change really through the day tomorrow. 65 for your high temperature in Bakersfield, 64 at California City, 67 at Lake Isabella. The bigger change though, gonna come in our winds. We're really gonna see those uh, take off as we head late into the day. Here's 6 p.m. on Wednesday. You can see those strong winds. They get stronger as we head into Wednesday night and even into early Thursday. We're tracking those pretty strong winds. Now, we're gonna get even breezy conditions here in the valley by the time we get to Thursday. That's gonna warm us up though. 70 to Greens for high temperature on Thursday, calmer and back down to some slightly cooler weather as we head toward the rest of the week. 7 day forecast here for the rest of Kern County. Those breezy conditions continue in the mountains all the way through Friday. That also brings some higher fire danger. That's your latest news and weather update. For the latest news anytime, be sure to log on to our website, turn to 23.com.